Okay guys, so what we are going to do right now is to uh, initialize, to declare and initialize a two-dimensional array and then print all of its values to make sure that everything is actually as we expect it to be. So let's first of all initialize some array. Let's go with int um, my two, 2D array. Okay, so my two-dimensional array and let's go like with... Um, two rows and let's make three columns okay doesn't really matter and now we are going to also specify its values so we know that we have here two rows and three columns and for the first row we will specify the values like let's say uh, one five and nine and for the second column we are going to use just even uh, uh, only even numbers so it's going to be like let's say two six and ten okay so that's how we are going to fill our new two-dimensional array. And now what we have to do is print all of its values. So how basically should you approach uh, this task? So one of the things to do here is to understand that we are working with a two-dimensional array uh, and it have two axes. Uh, it has rows and it has columns. So what we will have to do is to iterate over all the rows, okay, over all the rows, so meaning we will need to create some additional variable i, we will need to iterate over all the rows, so for i equals to zero, i less than two, all right, we have here only two rows, we are going to iterate over all the two rows, at row zero and at row one, and of course i plus plus to increment it uh, for the iteration and for every row that we are going to iterate we need also like when we work then print one dimensional arrays we need to print every value at this row meaning we need to pass over all the columns in this given row so we will need additional inside loop okay a nested loop that will uh, iterate over all the elements for each given row so for that we will use additional let's say assisting uh, assisting variable call it j and we will use here this internal for loop so uh, it will be like this so for j equals to zero as long as j is less than three because uh, uh, we have here the number of columns is three and on every iteration j plus plus meaning wh wh what does it mean this internal or nested loop we have here uh, the outside loop which basically uh, says that um, go over all of the rows okay one by one one by one and here okay let's use it like this I like this uh, representation the most one by one and here go over go over all the columns all the columns of a given row that you are already in so for the first row okay at i equals to zero we are going to iterate over all of its columns and then we are going to print each and every one of these elements so basically the only thing that remains to do here is just to like oh what happened why is that this way wait okay so let me just fix this one for you okay so oh th very strange okay so never mind i will just use a tab to move it here move it up like this okay so we are going to use printf and to print the value at this row so percentage d okay let's leave some space here and also specify the value and what will be the value it will be my two-dimensional array at index what index at what row at row i and at what column at column j and that's it that's how we are going to iterate over everything here so let's just use here um okay never mind let's just try to build and run it so we'll go here build and run la 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 and what we can see here basically what you can see is that all the values were printed one after the other so 159 which is the exact which is exa which is exactly our first row and then you have 2610 which is exactly the second row 
So once again, we iterated over all the rows uh, by uh, taking one row and iterating and printing all of its values, going over all of its columns. And basically, once we are done with one row, we incremented i by one and we moved to the next row. So I want to print uh, this instead of just printing it out in one line. I want to print it out in like, you know, in kind of a grid like we uh, think about two dimensional array with rows and columns. So one way to do so is to understand that on every every uh, row, once we've done printing all the values for a given row, we would like to print a new line. So printf and here just use backslash n. And let's see what happens now. Okay, so build and run it. And what you will see is that nothing happened. So why is that? We can see only uh, after, um, after we have exited this uh, for loop at the end. So just a new line before the return. So what was the problem? The problem is very simple. We didn't use curly brackets to specify that inside of this out uh, for loop, there will be more than just one command. We talked about it when we learned um, how to use for loops. So that's how you are going to use it. Okay, so four, four, four. And also here we are going to close it. So now this printf line will be under this out, outsider for loop. So let's build and run it once again. And there you go. We have our two dimensional array printed to the screen. So you iterate over the first row, like with i equals to zero, go over all of the elements, all of the columns, print them, then you print enter, you move on to the next line, and then you go once again, you do so for two, six, and 10, and then you come here, you see that i equals to two, two is not less than two, then the condition, this condition is false, and you go and return zero to indicate the success of your program. So that's it, uh, that's it guys. And one thing that I want to ask you is in the previous videos we've seen and I showed you a lot of examples, uh, not a lot of, but a couple of examples uh, with different types of two dimensional arrays and with different uh, options for initialization. And what I want to ask you to do is like, a little homework, small task. You know how to print all the values of a two-dimensional array now. So go and initialize uh, these values like you've seen in the previous videos. Uh, go and like make some hands-on, make some practice here instead of this percentage D. Think of what it should be. Maybe it should be percentage C or per percentage F or LF, whatever it is and uh, initialize different sizes of, um, of uh, two-dimensional arrays. Use here one of our three options that we talked about. Maybe it should be like this, one five, okay? And build and run it and just work with it and make sure you understand everything that we spoke about in our previous videos and that you are ready uh, to move on with our two-dimensional arrays. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.